Don't you just love starting out an episode with absolutely no plan for what you're planning on doing this week? You know, some of my favorite episodes have actually happened uh, just like this, where I start recording an episode and I really just have no idea what I'm going to do. So I'm not afraid. I know I have to have a video out by the end of the week, but I have no plans. So I am completely free to do anything that I want. And wait, what's that? Phone noises? No, no phone noises. Phone noises. You know why there's no phone noises? Because I muted my phone. That's right. I muted my phone like a good YouTuber should. I finally learned my lesson. There is no sound coming from my phone. <laughs> Shablam! Today I am flying over to the centralized area of the shopping district because there's a brand new shop that I absolutely have to check out and that is this one right over here. Yes, this one sells a few things that I am very interested in. Um, specifically this thing right here, the recovery temp compass, compass. I'm looking at buying a recovery compass. Ooh, luckily she has some in stock. I definitely want one of these um, because they are 10 diamonds. Um, not because they're 10 diamonds. That's not why I want one. There's no ender chest in this shop. Come on now. You need to put an ender chest in all of your shops. That's like, uh, it's like an unwritten rule. I decided to stop over here and read the actual laws in the shopping district just to make sure that there wasn't actually uh, a written law about this. But uh, you know what there is? There is paper for suggestions and an anvil. And so I am actually going to make that suggestion right now. Ender chest in every shop. Yes, please. And I'm going to put that right in this barrel right here. I think that uh, that's important. I'm going to have to talk to Lord Thaddeus about that. Lucky for me, I brought my own ender chest. So let's just get out some diamonds here. And recovery compass, 10 diamonds. So that is 10 right there. I'm going to pop my 10 diamonds in because I want one of these recovery compasses. And what is a recovery compass, I hear you asking? Just in case you don't know, the recovery compass is one of the newer items that's been added to Minecraft. I think these are brand new as of 1.19. Uh, and what they do is they point to the last place that you died. And as you can see, this one is spinning around like crazy. Uh, and that's what they do if you are in the uh, wrong dimension. So I died um, in the nether. That's, that's basically what I'm talking about. I actually have gone on record in the past as saying that these things are not really useful for anyone. I figured they would be much more useful for an early game player where they're way too expensive. You actually have to go to an ancient city in the deep dark to get the materials to craft this thing, uh, which is obviously no good for a early game player, but late game players... I figured are never going to need these because they're not going to die. I haven't died in a good long time. Uh, and if I do die, it's usually somewhere pretty stupid. Like, you know, like I'll, I'll fly out of my casino and I'll crash land into the ground a little too hard. Um, I always have a totem with me as well. So I usually pop the totem and I don't actually die. I would normally have said it's uh, it's pretty impossible for me to die. But the other day, last week, I happened to be searching the nether because I wanted to find a good place to build a brand new farm, specifically a blaze farm. Uh, and that's a little spoiler because I might be building a blaze farm soon. Shh, don't tell anybody I told you. Um, and I was 2,000 blocks away because I was flying to all kinds of different fortresses looking for something very specific. And what I was looking for was two blaze spawners that were very, very close together. I found the perfect spawners and I thought, you know what, I'm going to start to block this area off to try to claim it for my own. And uh, I got just murdered, just decimated by blazes. Um, and I, the stupid reason is because I took the totem out of my offhand and I put a shield in my offhand because I thought, oh, I'll just collect a couple blaze rods while I'm here. And it's way easier to collect blaze rods when you have a shield than it is uh, when you have a totem. But uh, but of course, that, that means that if you, if you lose health too quickly, you don't have anything to save you. And so, uh, yeah, to make a long story... Um, slightly less long because I know I've, I've already rambled a little bit too much here. Uh, recovery compass. Great idea. Um, and I think 
everyone should have one of these things. And so I told Anita she should put them in her shop, and she did. So I bought one, and I'm happy to have it. But of course, the Recovery Compass shop is not the only brand new shop that I wanted to check out today. I also wanted to check out this shop right here, which sells... I No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's this one right here. Uh, this is Neat Free's other shop where she sells luck. And specifically, she's selling these four-leaf clovers. Uh, one diamond each for these four-leaf clovers. And uh, check it out. It's actually just a totem of undying that has been retextured as a, uh, a four-leaf clover. I think this is brilliant. I, as you may or may not know, I carry a totem with me everywhere I go. Um, and the only exception is when I'm hunting blazes, apparently, but uh, <laughs> enough of that story. I want one of these four-leaf clover totems that I can carry with me at all times because I think it'll give me luck. I really do. It, it You know, I've seen Anita when she's caving. I've seen her when she's playing the casino games. She is, hands down, the luckiest person on the server, and she deserves to sell her luck. And so I am going to buy some of it. And so, yeah, I already actually took one out. I guess I should, uh, I guess I should pay for it, right? Uh, hopefully she'll keep these in stock because I'm just going to buy one for now because of course, all I'm going to need, this is a lucky totem. I'm only going to need one ever, right? Yeah. But, uh, if I do need more, I'll just come back and buy more. And no sooner did I buy myself one of those lucky totems, but then Total Thomas Man came over to the casino while I was trying to show Caffeinated Owl, our newest member, how to play some of the casino games and, well, just watch the clip. I didn't know oh, it. Well, see? Oh, you don't this, have a totem. Man... You don't have a totem. Okay. Oh, you do have a totem. Uh, I'm out of here. Bye. Bye. What? See, the, the <sighs> thing recognizes I didn't have a totem and then kills me anyway. So, that's that's just the way that's just that's the way things go. Nice. He's, he's not a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and back over here to Neat Freeze's luck shop where I'm going to have to get myself another diamond out here. And look at that. She's got an ender chest in her shop now. Uh, and buy myself another brand new totem. That's great. So that's two. And I should ever need two, right? Just keep that in my offhand. <laughs> Just two. That, that, that's all the totems I will ever need. Let's go check out something that Monty's working on. Monty, 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 Monty. Hello. How are ya? man? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm just doing a little little build here for Skunk Monkey. He hit a million views on his YouTube channel. Oh, that's that's very kind of you. And that's what a great idea, too. I love it. One million, one M. Well, I love Skunk. He's my boy, and I just wanted to celebrate him. And what a better way than to, you know, toss a giant unneeded build in his in his area. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes, you know what his uh, his build. Uh, what what do you have? Uh, what is it? Just an exterior, or do you have something planned for the interior? Uh, well, I mean. I, I don't know. I was I was going to do... I was thinking about doing a water elevator up to the top. Ooh, very, very cool. Uh, so he could shoot up there and look. But, I mean, I, I know he, he, he flies. And the reason he flies <laughs> is because he doesn't have a portal here. He's got to well, use Indies that's, like, northwest of here. That's actually funny you said that because recently I had actually asked him, like, hey, do you want me to build you a nether portal? at the uh at your your mega base location here and he had said yes uh but he told me he'd let me know where he wanted it and we never really established where he wanted it and i'm kind of thinking yeah. i'm kind of thinking this might be a good place for it <laughs> all right so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna light this portal and then i'm gonna fly away uh and then i'm going to go to the nether and i'm gonna build the other side portal and then i will uh i'll come back through it so don't okay. don't go through this portal. Just, oh yeah, uh, I know, I know the drill. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and I am back. It works. It works. Well, it works Ooh. one direction anyway. I'm I'm assuming it's gonna work oh. in both directions. Uh oh, you sat on a slab. I hope you don't fall into the ocean. Oh 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 oh. oh. <laughs> oh you may. Okay, good. <laughs> You're safe. 
Oh, perfect. So now he's got a uh, now he's got a little portal here. Finally. Yeah, and just in the nick of time too, because I mean, not not I mean a little bit selfishly, I, my electric <laughs> about to break. Oh no! Uh, well, I I'm also I make it to Indies. Yeah, <laughs> I'm also running out of rockets, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there seems to be a vast shortage of rockets on. I've the heard I that. Yeah. To... <laughs> well, I guess uh, I guess it's just I'm gonna go mine for the rest of my episode because. Not only do I need to pay you sixty diamonds, um, the uh, the Shulker Compendium needs oh. sixty four diamonds. Yeah, yeah, Hello, you're getting the unlimited uh, deal. Between you and me, I heard I could do an IOU for a discount. Oh, interesting. Congratulations, uh, Skunk Monkey, on your one million views, and hopefully there's millions more to come, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, congrats, Skunk. And uh, I hope you enjoy your new portal. Yeah. And there he is sitting again. <laughs> and do you remember a few minutes ago when I talked about dying in a very scary place in the nether uh, 2,000 blocks away? Well, guess what? I am here at uh, like negative 2,000 on the X and, and 100 on the, the Z or the Z if you're Canadian like me. Uh, let's take a look. So right down this hallway right here, not here, but right over here, you will see a blaze spotter. Uh, and I need to like basically block this off. So like block, 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 lots of blockage. Uh, and then there's another one right here. Look, more blockage, block, block, block. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of blazes here. And I just ran right into that fire and I don't know why I did that. But uh, this is my double blaze spawner area. Um, at some point, I'd like to make a farm here. Uh, and I think Anita is gonna help me do that as well. So I can't do that today, but I did wanna kinda lay the groundwork for this farm by coming over here, trying to light up those blaze spawners so they don't spawn blazes as much. And then also uh, maybe making a safer path here, maybe like, break a hole in the bedrock and get down here. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. All right. I have finished doing a bunch of renovations in the lower part of the nether. I was going to say in the nether, but I'm, I'm in the nether, uh, back in the lower part underneath the bedrock ceiling. Uh, as you can tell, I'm above the bedrock ce ceiling and, uh, well, I need to get below the bedrock ceiling, so I, I've done my little machine thing here. You guys may have seen this before or not, but this is how I break bedrock, and, uh, and I've done it a lot, so I'm going to do it again. And there we go. That should have done it right there. Busted a hole in the bedrock. And yeah, beautiful. All the way down exactly where we need to be. And let's grab some ladders and start placing them down there. And as we travel down into the newly decorated underbelly of... <laughs> underbelly. I don't know why I come up with these weird words. Uh, we have this stairwell which leads all the way down and obviously I need to do a little bit of work to this because at the moment I'm just kind of smashing my head on it but this stairway of beautiful stone brick leads me all the way down into this nether fortress and I think I better get rid of these as well so I don't accidentally hurt anything uh, and then straight ahead check this out there's one and there is two spawners and of course you can't see the spawners because they're buried underneath all this glowstone and I'm not sure whether I covered all of the spawning spaces or not um uh nope sounds like i haven't hi there mr blaze um yeah these guys are extremely dangerous if you don't have a potion on you or a or a shield but uh yeah <laughs> anyway hopefully there's no more uh, egregious spawning spaces and that uh i can come back here when i'm ready and actually build the farm so so here we go, stairs up anyway, and this will take me back to the roof of the nether, up that beautiful ladder, and then I can fly home, because I have a lot more supplies to collect before I can actually build this farm, and I'm pretty sure, as I said before, that Anita is going to want to help me with this farm. So uh, this is the direction right here I want to fly, and I can fly. So Onyx invited me over here to check out his brand new project. And look where I found him. Hiding out, ooh, under here, with a totem in his hand, AFK, 
staring at me with those big eyes. Hmm. I wonder if we should do something. Maybe... Maybe we should. Yeah, that looks high enough. Onyx! Get ready for a surprise! Alrighty, so I've already dropped one anvil on him and that one didn't do enough, so here goes anvil number two! Still nothing! Wow, that netherite armor is pretty good. Oh, it looks like I did pop his totem though. So, uh, so yeah, that's something. Alright, one more should do the trick. Alright, this should be high enough. Hi, Onyx. Here comes a surprise! Oh, netherite armor for the win! And landing up top. Perfect landing. See that every time. Alright, fourth time is the charm. Goodbye, Mr. Onyx. Got him! This little patch of dirt is all that remains of our good friend Onyx. And you know what? I, I actually do feel a little bit bad for that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, eh? Hmm. So along with this little patch of dirt to commemorate Onyx's death, I did collect all of his stuff in this shulker box. So he's not missing anything. Got all his gear, got his rockets, got everything. I'm just going to put a little stone brick on top of that. And now there's a memorial <laughs> for Onyx. Rest in peace. Here lies Onyx. So yes, may flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Am I a bad person? I'm a bad person, aren't I? <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a, it was such a golden opportunity. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I I walked back in my room and I see dead. I'm like, oh, a, a spider or something must have somehow got me. And yeah. then no, I see falling <laughs> anvil. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 You, yeah. You'll be pleased to know it took four anvils to kill you. That was. <laughs> I, was I got a I got a pretty tough head. Yeah, netherite armor and your tough head. Yeah, save the day. Oh, and you had a totem too, so I, I owe you a totem. In oh. fact, you know what? You should have had one of these, the lucky totems. So ah, yes. You didn't have a lucky totem on you, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess yeah. uh, I guess you kind of owe me one now, so I'll, I'll just... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just kind of be on my, on my guard. <laughs> or maybe yeah. not, I don't know. <laughs> There we go. I got I got the totem now. Nice, nice. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Um, but yeah, this this is obviously the, the the massive flat area. This is beautiful. I don't. I still don't know what you're planning to do with this, but uh, <laughs> but but it's big and it's flat. So, <laughs> so. yeah, I'll, I'll you will know shortly. Like it okay. won't it won't be that long before you know. Because right. um, the main so like the the main part of it is literally the first bit I'll build. Um, nice. And then the rest is like just the exterior, I guess you could say. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. It's you you picked a, a beautiful spot. You got like nice mountains and stuff yeah. around you and you're not too far yeah. from from spawn either, so yeah. if you want and, people I to mean, visit. Last, exactly. Last time you were here, it was actually a lot smaller than what it is now. So like yeah, I I thought this, so. Yeah. It's, so this it, side is extended another about 5 or oh, maybe not 15, but about 10 that side's about probably 18 from what it was. Nice. From about here back has been extended, uh, and the back was extended about another five blocks. So It's hard to tell because the, well, the last time I saw it, it was still, like, there were still parts that were dirt, and there was still, like, some area that hadn't been totally filled in yet. Yeah. Uh, but now it's, like, obviously totally filled, totally grass, and, yeah, and, and beautiful. And I'm, and this, I'm hoping yeah, you're... It's perfect. You, you, you didn't do this for a, a passive mob farm, <laughs> but Definitely not. you never know. Cause like, Hey, look, you're getting pigs and sheep and stuff spawning. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't go to all this effort just for that. <laughs> Although you know what? I probably would. Um, yeah, yes, you would. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, do. I definitely would. But yeah. <laughs> After that conversation with the McMonty earlier this week, something kind of stuck with me. I got this idea in my head, and I know we have some new members on the server, and 
Hmm, my, my little brain started going. Owl, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. I heard that you might be in the market for iron. Large quantities of iron. And, uh, well, actually what I heard was that you were interested in building your own iron farm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I well, iron. I happen to be a purveyor of iron on the server. I don't know if you know this, but not only do I have like the largest, most productive iron farm on the server, which I mean, it's not that big, but it's, it, it is, I still stand by, it is the largest and most productive. <laughs> Namely because it's in the spawn chunks and it runs 24 seven when people are online. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Also, I have a beautiful iron shop in the shopping district, uh, in the mall actually. Where I, I sell I iron have blocks. Seen that iron shop. Oh, yes, yeah, that is a yeah, beautiful yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking to myself, well, if you want to build your own iron farm, I, I can't stop you. That's what people are, are apt to do, whatever they do. But I have a deal to offer you. I don't know if you've heard yes. anything about me and the things that I like to collect on the server. But, um, well, I have this beautiful casino just over yonder in the shopping district. And yeah. uh, we have one particular game, and the top prize in that game happens to be IOUs from some of the server members. Yeah. So are we I, about guardians? I are am we? interested. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, there are there are guardians. Okay. There's a guardian farm there. That's Iron Knight's guardian farm. We are uh, far uh, enough away hearing. that it's not dangerous. Yeah. I keep hearing guardian noise going. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, anyway, Sorry. what I was going to propose is, if you're interested in trading me an IOU, uh, a 100% genuine caffeinated owl 7 IOU, I can supply you with unlimited iron for the rest of the season. And what does this IOU cover? Well, see, like, that's the I... thing. An IOU is, it's an... It's an open card. It's like you have an IOU from someone. You can ask them to do pretty much anything. Now, within reason. So to, to be fair, to be fair, I personally value an IOU at 64 diamonds. That's what I've put the value on. Now, that is an arbitrary value, but I've valued them. So if you were going to be doing some work for somebody in you know, exchange for an IOU, that is, it's about 64 diamonds worth of stuff. So it might be an hour of caving, or it might be, you know, build a big redstone contraption, or it might be help me with a farm, or it might be, you know, come with me to the nether and keep me safe. I don't know. But it's it's not going to be something stupid crazy. They're not going to say like, oh, give me everything you own. That's 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 not the way it works. <laughs> it's it's come within and be reason. my slave for the next six months. It can't be that. No, it could be like be my slave for the next hour. It could be like wear a, a funny hat for your whole episode. You know, it could be. You know, okay. It's not going to be. It's not going to be outrageous. At least right. it wouldn't be outrageous if I cast in your IOUs. But like I said, full disclosure, I won't be cashing in your IOU. I will put your IOU inside of a box, which will go inside one of my machines, which will be winnable by somebody. So somebody else on the All server. Right could win your IOU. You you could win it yourself. That's the the best part. I mean, it's going to be Ooh, in the golden keys that's machines. Actually, so mm, yeah. That's appealing. Mm. All right. So it's unlimited iron for an IOU. Exactly. Yeah, one simple okay. little IOU. How could I say no because it'll <laughs> save me building a farm? Exactly. See, that's exactly what I like to hear. Okay, let me let me let me get some uh let me get some paperwork going here. Oof, I like that sound. <laughs> There it is, the IOU, perfect. So in exchange here, right here, right in front of you, this is where you now have access to. Uh, this, it says private storage, VinMC, please keep out, but you are now allowed to access the private storage, okay? Um, so that this is, say, but it's yeah. empty. well, <laughs> it, it, it's only empty because I come in over here once in a while and I, uh, I collect the iron, but let me show you what I do with the iron. Look in this bottom chest here, this, this bottom right corner, this one. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And those aren't just shulkers of iron ingots. They're shulkers of iron blocks. 
So, <laughs> like, grab yourself a shulker of iron blocks, and then anytime you need another, come on back! Okay. Because <laughs> I have lots right. of iron. I am done. Yep, done deal. Nice. Yay. Well, thank you. Thank now, you. I appreciate now your I business. Can, um, now I can start on the flower farms. Excellent. Excellent. I look forward to seeing the flower farm. And that is one more IOU in the bag for the good old Vid MC's Golden Cared Casino. And I might have a line on another one because I have to meet up with Total Thomas Man. Uh, but the last time Total Thomas Man met up with me, um, well, he, he murdered me. And I'm just thinking to myself, maybe I should stop and get another one of those totems before I visit him. I had to give my totem to Onyx, so I actually don't have a totem right now. So hopefully he doesn't, uh, he doesn't draw his sword on me or anything. Hi, Vid. I have a predicament. Uh, okay. <laughs> I need to get this donkey into Trader's Haven to name him, but yeah, if I take him through the portal, he goes right back to the nether. Well, I, I mean, I, I have a really simple solution for you. Yeah? Um, oh, yeah. that's a good solution. Like there you go. <laughs> okay, come along, E.T. Let's go. I need your finest librarian, please. Library? Well, I've got lots of them. Yeah. You need Which a name one tag, is I assume? Best? My, my, yes. my best? Uh, well, actually, my... Which one is the best? I want the best of the best for Hurt Twister. Where this guy right here, hands down, the best villager in the entire place. He's got efficiency 5, and as his second trade, he unlocked protection 4. Uh-oh. Dropped so. it. Okay. There, there you go. go. <laughs> now I got to name him. And bam. You are now Earth Twister, Donkey. Nice. Earth Twister. Okay. Um, I, yeah. You, you summoned me. Yes. I did, because I heard that you, uh, I mean, you've been having problems with, with keeping up with rocket stocks, right? Yes. Yeah, so I, I had, yeah, like, like sugar a sugarcane farm is horrible. <laughs> yeah, I had a few different solutions for you. I was considering, like, you know, going into a competing business with you, selling rockets, because I do have, like, all of the farms as well. And then I thought, you know what, maybe instead of doing that, I can offer you a deal where I'm, like, giving you sugarcane at, like, a much reduced price. And then I thought, wait a minute, I know the best solution for you. And that is, of course, giving you unlimited access to sugarcane for the whole rest of the oh, season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you like that one? Of course, yes. you know... You know the standard deal, right? That comes along with an unlimited access pass. That yeah. would be uh, an IOU. Are you uh, are you interested in, in giving up an IOU? Oh, I have a better idea. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. a look at this. Take a look at that. See what you yeah. think. That's an IOU That's from Iron Knight. Oh, yeah. total Thomas man. You are you are more crafty than I gave you credit for. <laughs> Well, technically, <laughs> I'm the one supposed to give you credit because it was all you, but you know what? Uh, I'll take the credit. You know okay. Yeah. yeah, it's all me. It's all me. Well, <laughs> and yeah, now you, not only are, do you have membership access, but you can come come right along with me, right over here, come on, you into the, the secret staff only. Oh, you might have to leave um, You might have to leave the donkey here because I don't think he can make uh, it down a water elevator. But. Sorry, E.T. Let's, yeah. let's lead you up here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The, this is the, the secret staff only back room. Technically, I shouldn't allow you back here, but, uh, but w w you know, now that we've, we've exchanged IOUs, we're friends, right? Yeah. So if I'm going to trust you here because I have a lot of stock here, you know, carrots and potatoes and, and, and stuff, but what you're after is the sugar cane, and, and that's yeah. what you're allowed to take at. So you can, you can take as much sugar cane as you want oh. from these three chests here. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And that's yours for the rest of the season. This this place is always loaded. It's chunk loaded, so this farm will run continuously, and it's always filling up these chests. So, I mean, you come and empty it, you can just come back in 20 minutes, and it'll be full again. So, look behind you. Oh, 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 oh. It's going. It's, it's a little bit loud, a little bit laggy. But, uh, but, yeah, you can see the harvest happening right now. And then there'll be hundreds of sugar cane popping up through this uh, this tube up here in a minute. So, yeah, yeah, it's refilling already. Thank you so much, Vid. No problem. If you ever come across any other IOUs and you want to make any more deals, I have uh, unlimited carrots in case you're interested. <laughs> Thanks for the deal. See you later. Yikes, barely escaped with my life. Okay, going to get a new totem. 
And back up here, and let's just pop another diamond in there and grab ourselves another one of Neat Vries's lucky totems. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did and you want to support me, feel free to click that like button or the subscribe button. You know, they're both down there below this video. And if you want to check out some of the other igniters that I've interacted with today and perhaps some of the others that uh, I didn't interact with today, all of their links are in the description down below. And hey, if you want to see more great content, check out the video that's on the screen right now. That's last week's video where I placed some grass. Yeah, very, very exciting video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.